today remembering a young rookie police officer who died last week in the line of duty. This evening, the family of Henrico police officer Trey Sutton will receive friends at the Victory Tabernacle Church in Chesterfield. The 24-year-old officer died last week after being involved in a multi-vehicle crash at Chamberlain Avenue and Wilkinson Road in Henrico. CBS 6's Caroline Colburn spoke to one of the pastors at the church where that funeral will be held tomorrow. Caroline? Well, Cheryl, Victory Tabernacle, Tabernacle Church of God here in Midlothian is busy getting ready for tonight's visitation and tomorrow's funeral service. This morning, there were several Chesterfield officers inside the worship center getting things all straight, all perfect for tonight's visitation. And this isn't the first time this church has stepped in to help following a line of duty death. Now, I spoke with Pastor Sam Luke, who said over his 12 years preaching here, he has unfortunately had to give several services for police and fire officials who've died on the job. He says this church offers their space without any cost to the family. And this is also where Chesterfield County Police hold their academy graduation ceremonies. While Pastor Luke didn't know Officer Trey Sutton, he wants the community to understand how brave he and other officers are who risk their lives every time they put on a uniform. Last night, strangers as well as active and retired officers all gathered at the Henrico Police Memorial near Parham Road. Some were even from Sutton's 74th Basic Police Academy that graduated just a few months ago. Now tonight, the Sutton family will receive friends at the Tabernacle Church of God from 5 to 8 p.m. Officer Sutton's obituary explains he loved the Red Sox, Patriots, hunting, golfing, and his Great Danes, Avery and Iris. And he leaves behind a fiance, Zoe Pearson, his parents, a brother, and several other grandparents, cousins, aunts, and uncles. And as his family and fellow officers grieve, Pastor Luke wants them to know this church has their back. This church is supporting them with our prayers and that we believe in what they do. Uh, he could have chosen another career, I'm sure of that. And uh, he could have been successful probably in anything that he wanted to do, but he wanted to serve and protect. And he should, his, he should be honored and his memory should be celebrated for that. Now, the other officer who was involved in the crash is still in the hospital, but making improvements, according to Henrico Police Chief Eric English. Now, tonight, that visitation, as I mentioned, will run from 5 to 8 o'clock, and CBS 6 is going to have live team coverage of that visitation starting on your news at 5. Meanwhile, tomorrow at 11 o'clock, right here at the church, that's where the funeral service will be held. Working for you in Chesterfield County, I'm Caroline Colburn, CBS 6 News.